The amount of money low-income families can get to help bury a loved one in Dubuque County could soon be cut in half. KCRG TV 9's Keegan Turnbow reports the head of the program says he thinks the money can be better spent elsewhere. Low-income families can currently get up to $3,300 from Dubuque County to help bury a loved one but that could soon be reduced to $1,500. It's gonna be unfortunate and, and, and kind of unfair to them. Patrick Leonard, owner of Leonard Funeral Home and Crematory, is concerned the proposal would force poorer families to cut out familial or religious traditions when putting a loved one to rest. He says every year about 10 low-income families ask for help to pay for the burial of a loved one. Leonard says he helps out where he can, but reducing the help families can get makes it more difficult. Can we go ahead and allow families to still do a burial if we want to, try to get something done that would fit their faith and their, and their ideas and their family traditions more so than forcing them into doing something that they've never done before or maybe would be against? Randy Renison, the executive director of the county's Veterans Affairs Program, says a portion of the burial funds would be better spent on rent and utility assistance programs. With the cost of living and inflation going up, uh, rent's going up, utility prices are growing up, uh, people are still struggling. So the Board of Supervisors were wondering why we are paying more for the deceased instead of the living. The County Board is expected to schedule a work session soon to discuss the proposal. Renison says the goal is to come to a decision by the end of the year. In Dubuque, Keegan Turnbow, KCRG TV9 News.